I'm inspired by the 1960s. I've always been really interested in all the groovy psychedelic patterns and the clothes that people wore back then. Always wanted to be a hippie, <laughs> so. Christine Claringbold is an artist out of her time. Like, my dream was to have gone to the Monterey Pop Festival in 1967, so I kind of always pretended I was a time traveler, but <laughs> I really, I, I was from then, but here I am. <laughs> yes, here she is with husband Charles in a kitchen, the ceiling encircled by her psychedelic coffee cup collection. I ended up just deciding to make this whole design with yellow paint on the ceiling, and then that just worked out with, hey, maybe we could get the cups up on the ceiling because there's no place to store them. This is the master bedroom and um, I did the ceiling first. I started by just um, standing on a ladder and I took a pencil and I just started drawing a pattern around this light fixture and just kind of kept working my way out until I had this big design. So much color, so much creativity, the house was bound to have its effect on the people living there. Watching her, you know, paint the whole place and go crazy room by room, it made me, you know, get up and start like doing things I like to do, like writing songs and playing my guitar more. Now Charles and Christine are in the same band, Dart Gun and the Vignettes. Let everyone else in the Northwest suffer those gray days. The Claringbolds live in a kaleidoscope of color and they love it. Oh, it makes me feel really happy and comfortable and relaxed and safe and cozy, peaceful. <laughs> if you'd like to continue celebrating Portland's psychedelic culture like we just did I for would. the last two minutes, mm -hmm. the Oregon <laughs> Historical Society has an exhibit and it's running through March.